Hey there, and welcome to this video. So this video is about how we can use Visual Studio Code to debug a Node.js application. And I have a REST API that I've built here, and it is uh, a basic one where we have a couple of models, and we also have a couple of routes. We have basic authentication uh, using JSON Web Token. But it is working right now, this API, and if we type npm run start dev, we can see that the API will start, and then we can test it in Postman. So if we take get all products, we get this. We only have one product at the moment, 200 OK, but we can get the different products, and we can see the server is running on port 4000 connected to MongoDB. But if we want to debug, we have an error in this API. Let's just close this one there. Um, then we usually have to insert breakpoints and to determine where do we want to stop the program execution flow to inspect the state of the application. And uh, we can use Visual Studio Code to debug a lot of different applications uh, programmed in a lot of various programming languages and right now we have Node.js, so that is JavaScript or uh, TypeScript. And uh, one of the ways that we can do this in is that we can uh, click on the icon here that has the play and the small bug on it. And if we go there, we have a couple of options. We can uh, click the run and debug. We can also create a, J a launch JSON file where we can customize our uh, debug settings. But if we just try to uh, hit the run and debug, then we can see that we are presented with a couple of options here and maybe uh, Visual Studio Code need to install these first if you don't have them already. But uh, once it's finished, you should have various options here and we will take uh, Node.js. And when we start Node.js, we can see that the interface changes a bit and we're going to the debug console here. And we can also see that the server is running on port 4000, connected successfully, but we're in a debug state now. And we have variables and watch and the call stack, and we also have breakpoints that we can set. Right, so how can we use this to inspect the state here? Uh, if we want to create a breakpoint in our application, we can see it is a basic REST API using Express, and we have a couple of routes and also connected to MongoDB. So if we look over here, uh, besides the line numbers, we can see that we can place these breakpoints. And if we put one against here to the app listen, then if we, let's just restart it up here, we have this control panel up, up here that we can uh, navigate between the breakpoints and we can step into and out and all this stuff. Uh, so let's just restart it because then it's going to load the API again. And then we can see that in a minute. Right now here we can see that it has stopped on the breakpoint we just set there. And if we expand a bit on the variables, we can see we have a good overview of a lot of different elements in our program. Uh, so we can inspect the state of uh, our API. Uh, so far, because we have stopped the execution of the program flow here. So we can also hover uh, over different uh, variables or constants. We can see the port is 4000. We can uh, inspect the product routes. We can see that we have a lot of different data we can inspect. We have a stack of six. So that is probably the, the different routes we have defined there. And if we take one of them, we can see we have a route called in stock and we can inspect it even further to see it is a get route that the path and a lot of different things uh, so it is a good tool that we can use to uh, if we have a bug we can provide breakpoints and we can navigate through the application and not just use console log and these outputting commands right so this is one way we can do this if we take away this uh, breakpoint we just did here and uh, let's say we want to uh, create a new one inside of uh, the routes we have uh, we can see we have a couple of routes in here if we want to inspect 
any of these routes if we want to see what is going on in here we can also place a breakpoint we can take the the route that will get us all the products and uh, on line 24 then we will stop the execution here and we can inspect the state of the program at that place here so if we um, go and hit continue here we can see that the server is running on port 4000 and so now we need we need a client now to uh, uh, run this route and run this uh, query to our API so that we can see if it works. So get all products, uh, that is the route that we are looking for here. So if we send this request to our API, we can see that Visual Studio Code will intercept this. Maybe you need to go uh, back and forth one time and then we can see that it has stopped at this breakpoint here and Again, we can go to the debug panel and we can have a look at the variables. And uh, we can see data that we're looking on right now. If we expand the data over here, we have one model and there is a lot of data in this. And if we inspect just the document, the MongoDB document, if we expand this a little bit, we can see the document description of product falls in stock and name and everything the, uh, the version number and there's a lot of different data that you can inspect uh, in this so that is the data that we are working on if we want to see uh, information about the request we can also see this and the response a lot of different property if it has a body the connection state the comprehensive data that we can see here we can also, if we, we would like, we can step into, if we want to go further into this code, we could step into, and then that would actually take us to the response JS file that implements the send function here. And maybe this is not so relevant. You want to do this because this usually is tested code. So there should not be any errors in this code here. It's more likely probably that there is some bug in the API that we've made, but you have the option of going into uh, some of the code that actually is behind there. But if we just go back, we can see here that, yeah, we didn't have any more breakpoints in our code there. So that is one way to, uh, to use Node.js and Visual Studio Code in order to uh, debug uh, your um, Node.js application. And of course, uh, it, it can still be useful to output variables and application state using console log and other things but uh, sometimes it is necessary to be able to jump into the program and uh, stop the execution and just uh, inspect the state i think this is uh, more or less what i wanted to demonstrate in this uh, video and i hope you make this work uh, have fun with this bye bye